Hello everyone. Welcome to the 3D Artist of YouTube channel. Today we'll learn how to render a photorealistic lamp in Unreal Engine 5 using path tracing from scratch to finish. Step by step. I'll cover everything needed to render the lamp in Unreal. I'll cover how to prepare the lamp model in 3D Studio Max for UE and how to set it up in a scene and then render it using movie render queue as a high quality photorealistic result. So now without a further ado, let's get started. We'll try to get the result like this. So this is the effect or the quality of the lamp we'll be targeting to get as a result from Unreal Engine using path trip. So for that First of all, we'll have to go to 3D Studio Max. So here is, here is 3D Studio Max. And as you can see, our unit setup is in here in centimeter, but here it's inches. But I don't care about this anymore because of the Data Smith plugin. So no matter what the unit is in 3D Studio Max, Data Smith will always export the object into a centimeter. So we don't have to care about max unit anymore. So you just have to prepare the object in radius max and then export it. And Data Smith will take care of converting it into proper unit for Unreal Engine. That is centimeter. So now we'll go here, click open, and then I will go here. And here is the original V-Ray lamp I have. So now I will open it, just press yes. And as you can see, this lamp is like 14 objects. Like the, it is separate object. And these ob so having 14 object for this, this type of a small object is not good. So we'll go here in the user define and then we'll click standard and then when i select this there is a rectangular box coming so if i press j on my keyboard that will be gone so now we have to prepare this model for unreal engine and we can use this lamp in any light mark, like any rendering technique in unreal engine like light marsh lumen or path tracing but for the best practice, but for but as the best practice, what I will let you all know is just hide this object and then hide this object and then select everything else of the model. And then here I have wrapper tool installed in my 3D Studio Max. And here there is an option click like and here and here there is an option like make one object so if i have selected everything here take all the other parts of the lamp and then i click one object then all these objects are now one just one object and as you can see the pivot of this object is not exactly at the center of this object okay for that I'll press Control and then click here on Center Pivot. So if I just click Center Pivot, then the pivot will be in the center. But if I press Control or hold Control and then click Center Pivot, then it will center it on X, Y, and then Z. So the bottom part of the object on Z axis and then center part of this object x and y in x and y the pivot will be placed there which is extremely handy for any object that has to be brought or sent to unreal engine so this is a very good option and now the good part is if you have lots of objects selected and then when you press control and then center pivot in just one click each and every object will have that pivot properly set it up on the bottom of the model in x and y and then in z so now as you can see like remaining part of this object i have made one object 
and then this object is separate object and this is a separate object so in total if i press ctrl a i have three object for this lab so why i have done this let's understand that okay so this like is all this part like like this part of this model are having metallic and plastic material on them and because of that we can easily convert this model into a nanite mesh because nanite mesh does not su support translucency and in uh, and fast material yet they are going to be supported in future but at the moment or at this point of time nanite does not support masked mask the material and translucent material for that if we detach the objects that are having translucent or masked material like this this bulb is going having emissive material this object is going to have mask material so we have to detach them and keep them like this so now the next very important part of preparing this model is applying a shell modifier on this object because this is not a shaded material and because of that when we bring it in engine this will not behave properly and give the result as we need or as intended but if you apply a shell modifier then it will have surfaces on both sides and then you will be able to see this lamp in from both sides and this lamp will give us a better result in Unreal Engine. So we'll select this object. We we'll go here in modify panel. There is a shell modifier. I will apply shell modifier and then I will make it zero and here I will make it point 0.1 or point 0.01. Okay. So now this object have some thickness in it it has some thickness and now this object will be visible from both sides and then this will give us desired result or help us achieve more realistic result it's very important make this specific object which is going to have a fabric material or a translucent material on it to get the best result in the engine so now as you can see the model is ready for export you have to go to file and then export and then export selected and then you have to export it anywhere you like on desktop or anything as a data asset format like i'll make table lamp just go lamp. then here i will name it table Lamp. then i will change this data snip and then i will save it and then click ok export selection now this model is selected so now this model is exported now let's go to unreal engine so here in unreal engine we'll go ahead and bring the lamp so you have to go here and then click that in data smith and then click file import but before that let's take care of some uh, like some important things in terms of plugin we'll need two most important like two plugins that are that should be activated on this project get our result first is data smith importer data smith importer and then the other is movie render queue movie render so these are the two important plugin that needs to be activated in the project for importing the mesh we'll need data smith and for rendering the cinematic or rendering the image or rendering the lamp we'll need movie render queue to render the lamp in high quality suppose i have this lamp here inside the unreal engine already imported at data smith what I will do, go ahead, select these two objects, or I will just have like this object is already brought inside Unreal Engine. So, as you can see, I have not detached this, 
and it's you should be tagged this okay very good practice and now i have put this lamp here it was brought somewhere here inside the unreal engine like this and then you have to go to top view and then move it to the exact location where you want and now this lamp is there along with the bulb here now what we have to do is we have to properly set up a camera for rendering it so we'll select the lamp press f and then we frame a proper shot for this and now we want to render a portrait image for this not like this fiction ratio 9 for that we go here make sure this persistent level is selected and then go here and then go in create camera here and click cine camera act so cine camera actor will be create it let's name it 0 2 let's name this cinema camera as 0 1 so 0 2 is our cinematic camera when we go here we, we can we can see this cine camera actor too okay so let's set the camera for portrait rendering so now we'll go here in sensor width or you can go in film back sensor width change this to something like this and also go here press f and then you can go ahead and zoom it a little bit like this when you are happy let's go ahead here again and this is like sensor width is 10 and let's make the sensor height to 12 or maybe 10 maybe 15 maybe 14 12 10, 14 i think Good to me so here i pick so here it is like this but when we render this when we will render it using movie render queue this will not render as intended or as same here inside the view it will render the black screen here okay to avoid that and to render the exact in this sequence or value what we have to do we have to go here and click this letter box mask, and then action save and then we will decrease the value here so it's like point Six point seven point seven. Okay, point seven looks good to me here. Okay, and then action save frame is ninety five. Now we need to decide a proper resolution for this. So suppose I want to render it in one k, like nineteen twenty. So nineteen twenty, I know the width. So what should be the height of it? And the proportion has to be 0 0.71 ratio. For that, what we'll go, so we'll take this as a reference. We have to render it here. So we want a dimension. What dimension we have to? So 1920 we know. So what should be the height? We have to figure it out. We now know that the ratio should be around 0.7 by 1. We'll go here in 3D Studio Max on this rendering palette and now here in custom as you can see the ratio here is 0.7 okay. so here you go ahead and make it 0.7 point and now we will go here and make it 1920 or we can go here and type 1080 instead of typing 1080 here we have to go here and make it 0 0.7 and 1920 so unreal so max will give you the height of the render on 
जीरो पॉइंट सेवन इस पर इमेज स्पेक्ट रेशियो जीरो पॉइंट सेवन 